How now, fair maid? I come to know your pleasure. That you might know it would much better please me than to demand what is. <laughs> your brother cannot live. How do you even so? Heaven keep your honor. Yet may he live a while, and it may be as long as you or I. Yet you must die. <laughs> you under your sentence? Yea. When I beseech you that in his reprieve, either longer or shorter, he may be so fitted that his soul is sick in hell. Thy exempt devices. It were as good to pardon him that hath from nature stolen a man already made as to remit their saucy sweetness that do coin heaven's image and stamps that are forbidden. <coughs> Set down the soul in heaven, but not in earth. Think so? Then I shall close you quickly. Oh, which have you rather? That the most just law now took your brother's life, or to redeem him, give up your body to such sweet uncleanness as she that he hath stained it in? Sir, believe this. I had rather give my body than my soul. I talk not of your soul, or can tell it sin stand more for number than for a cause. Should I do beg his life? If that be sin, heaven let me bear it. And you, the answering of my suit, if that be sin, I will make it my mourned prayer to have it added to the faults of mine, and nothing of your answer. Nay, but hear me, your sense pursues not mine. Either you are ignorant or seen so craftily, and that's not good. <laughs> but mark me, to be received plain, I'll speak more gross. Your brother is to die. So? That his offense is so, as it appears, accounted to the law upon that day. True. Admit no other way to save his life, as I subscribe not that nor any other, but in the loss of question, that you, his sister, finding yourself desired of such a person whose credit with the judge or own great place could fetch your brother from the manacles of the Almighty Law, <laughs> and that there were no earthly means to save him, but that either you could lay down the treasures of your body or else let him suffer, what would you do? as much for my poor brother as myself. That is, were I under the terms of death, the impression of puny whips I'll wear as rubies, and strip myself to death as to a bed that longing have been sick for, ere I'll yield my body up to shame. Well, then must your brother die. And twere the cheaper way. T'were better for a brother to die at once than that a sister by redeeming him should die forever. Well, were not you then as cruel as the sentencing of slander so? Infamy and ransom and free pardon are its two houses. Lawful mercy is nothing kin to foul redemption. You seem of late to make the law a tyrant and rather proves the slighting of your brother a merriment than a vice. Oh, no. Pardon me. It oft falls out to have what we would have, we speak not what we mean. I something do excuse the thing I hate, but it is advantage that I dearly love. We are all frail. Nay, women are frail. Kind. As the glasses where they view themselves, which are as easy broke as they make forms. Women, help heaven! Men their creation mar by profiting by them. Nay, call us ten times frail, for we are soft as our complexions are, and credulous to false prints. I think it well. 
and from this testimony of your own sex, let me be bold. I do arrest your words. Be that you are, that is, a woman. If you be more, you're none. If you be one, as you are well expressed by all external warrants, <laughs> know it now by putting on the destined livery. I have no tongue but one. <laughs> no, gentle, my lord, let me entreat you speak the former language. <laughs> Plainly conceive, I love you. Love Juliet, and you tell me he shall die for it. He shall not die, Isabel, if you give me love. of my life, my vouch against you, and my place at the state will so your accusation overweigh that you shall stifle in your own report and smell of calumny. I have begun, and now I give my sensual wish to learn. Gaze consent to my sharp appetite. Lay by all nicety and prolixness what is that banish for his people. Your ears I bear with my ears I bought with my lord. Or else not only will he die the death, but thine kindness shall his death draw to lingering sufferance. Answer me tomorrow. Or by the affection that now guides me most, I'll prove a tyrant to him. As for you, say what you can. My faults overweigh your truth. 